Look, here's here's Wookie's social security number. Four. That's oh, it. That's damn. The entirety of it. Yeah. That makes so much sense. Yeah. It's Christmas time again at the North Pole. Uh, the air is crisp and fresh, and your lungs are full of cool air. It's kind of cool and fresh. Kind of Santa, a bit. turn off the damn air conditioning! God damn it! As the penguins and polar bears frolic in the snow, you put the finishing touches on the holiday preparations with Showtime approaching the workshop closely. The place is a flurry of hustle and bustle as your team, some of Santa's most trusted elves, feel the pressure of the rapidly approaching deadline, when Old Saint Nick will clabber into his red sleigh and take to the skies to deliver all the good little boys and girls their presents. The air is electric and you hum along to the ever-present ambient musical that thrums along in the background at Santa's North Pole Workshop. A rhythmic crescendo on this, the night before Christmas. Santa, turn off the damn air conditioning until you're ready. <laughs> Suddenly, the workshop door <laughs> Bursts open with a gust of snow and a howling wind rushes through. Running in from the blizzard is Rudolph, with eyes as red as his nose, tears frozen to the short hairs and skin of his face. Sliding under the workshop bench that you all sit and work at, but sticking up half out in the air, the reindeer continues to cry and sob. It's not fair, it's not fair. What is it, Rudolph? And you're, you're getting like you're getting snot in everywhere. Damn it! It's the other reindeer. They're so mean. They laugh I and they jeer. They say my nose is gross and they won't let me play in their reindeer games or uh, even oh, no. let me near. Wait, isn't the reindeer games like all about killing? No, no that's the Hunger Games. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, Ray. Oh, uh, oh, Rudolph, with your nose so bright. You're a freak of nature, and I don't know what to say with you. No, that's what they told me, and they're so dick about it. They're a bunch of beer-drinking bros, and they won't even let me play Pong with them. Assholes! Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. Ru Rudolph, 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 for real, though. I'm gonna get some, uh, I'm gonna get some of the, some of the paint, the black paint, and roll it, put it on his, uh, nose. Let's draw it on. And it's like, okay, there we go. You're a regular reindeer now. Congrats. Huh? Achoo! Achoo! And immediately all the black paint burns off and the radioactive red glow of his nose. Oh, let's try this. What? what? Lead and tar. Lead and tar. Okay, I don't even want to put that on. <laughs> uh, Fangs, you said you were going to say it? Go ahead, say it. Hmm? No. Why? How does a reindeer play Pong? Oh, uh, beer pong? Oh, you use the antlers. Mm -hmm. You know, you get, you get the, okay, you get the two, you get the ball, you hit it up in the air, and you snap it down hard, like, uh, like, like you're playing uh, tennis or something, or a, be a baseball or something like that, and you, poof. <coughs> Are you okay, well, man? I'll be honest, like it seems mostly to be a reason for them to drink because there's not a lot of ping pong balls going in the cups so I, I think you're right in that we're not particularly good at playing beer pong it's the opposable thumbs that we lie the hooves really make it difficult you're making a great point yeah and why I... would you want to play with play their games in the first place free beer I'm trying to get fucked up over here dude if you want to get I mean... fucked up why Have you, you simply just come tried to us? stealing them? <laughs> Have you simply tried stealing their beer? Oh yeah, why don't you be the dominant uh, reindeer and just like take <sighs> control? You know? Uh, aren't reindeers like uh, territorial and like they they like afford, they go and like show their dominance amongst the other reindeers to show who's no, boss? That's, that's only mating. That's only mating season. That's the only time caribou do that. 
Oh, well then, I know nothing about animals, and yet I still play, I still say I, your, I know. That's your plan of druid. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, he's got you there. I think it gets entangled, too. Uh, uh, well, hey, Rudolph, Rudolph, look at me. Look at me. Yeah? Tilt your head upwards. Okay. Open your mouth. Uh. <laughs> and then pot, get some uh, uh, hard egg, eggnog and I shove it down his gallop and he's like, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it. Drink it. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, wow. That was 99 proof, bitch. Enjoy. God 99 damn. proof? That's not. And well, that's what we drink in hell, so I don't know what you want me to say. Okay. I drink 180 proof. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Oh, damn. Alright, then never mind. Man, this really explains a lot why you elves get so much work done. <laughs> Wait, we're elves? So, I think that's just a title. I think it's just a title because no one, no one rolled an elf. <laughs> Well, you're all deputized elves. I mean, most of the other people... Okay, never mind. Um, Look, between you and me, we have... We could go over there and maybe those reindeer could have an accident or something. I'd be willing to pay, give you some money. Then, oh, shit. Then we wrap up Rudolph. their meat so none of the children go hungry. Wait, wait. I, if I'm going to eat me a reindeer, I'm going to choose which one. And second, why would I share with some kids? Well, it's the Christmas. It's the holiday season. Yeah, it's, yeah. That's why you're trying to hire well, what to kill do you your do? people. <laughs> so, <laughs> isn't that how the song goes? You're just less sarcastic. Wrong song. Wrong, song. Wrong holiday. It's the holiday season. No, I'm I'm confused as hell. Nice. Okay, so. We are are we so you're saying you want us to kill your friends and family so you can oh. for what reason though It's been a long time coming and frankly it's time for Rudolph's revenge Hell yeah revenge. That sounds like a bad B movie Oh god don't talk uh, about the B movie oh, oh, you're, you're really hurting me here that that was totally the name of tonight's one shot uh, ouch <laughs> nice. Holy shit, man! The sounds so loud. Okay, so I mean, I'm gonna do. Is it animal friendship? Oh my god! What the fuck are you doing, man? You're. I had to mute. I had to mute him. He is really, really loud, man. Yeah. What are you trying to do there, Bishop? Excuse me. What are you trying to do there, Crop's house? I. I'm gonna make a. Like, I want to try summon some hellhounds to help help our little friend here to go in. You know, make friends, you know? Because, you know, if you have, like, backup as your, not, like, something that's as your entourage, you, you get things done. Absolutely. You go ahead and summon the hellhounds as you rise these evil dogs from hell as support for Rudolph's revenge. His eyes glint darkly in the red hue of his nose as you all start making your way over to the stables. Fuck. So brew it off. Frills up, man. How much you paying us? I'll pay you whatever you want. This is really important to me. How much I'll you got? Up front. Yeah, t t honestly, yeah. Because we could lose our jobs here. Absolutely. I wouldn't want to put yourselves out here. Make sure you're taken care of. And he's going to go ahead and hand each of you... Heavy sacks, as you thumb through it, each of you are given a sack of at least 500 platinum. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Where the fuck? did you get 
Oh, hey man, man. I I Could guess we'll challenge you. Fucking hell, what the fuck? Where did you? No, this is set up. I'm out. <laughs> I know. I I take. I know. I'll take. I'll take it. Okay. I'm out. I'm out. No, this is this is this is. This is us. Very sus. Yeah. No, this, is, this is a setup. <laughs> I'm out. No. Okay. Rudolph, okay. Out. Where the heck I'm did you get this a... much Rud uh, money, Rudolph? It's not I mean, even money. It's me really precious material. Uh, precious metals. It's That's what still. Platinum, platinum, where the heck is... did you get it? This has platinum been going is a on. Type of currency. Platinum is a currency in D and D and all that. It's the oh. highest valued one. It's worth like what, like fifty gold? One platinum is worth fifty gold. Oh, okay. Then, uh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, this is sketchy as shit. Yeah. It's like it's like someone asked you to go kill a dude because they're getting bullied or getting beat up or go beat up a guy because he's getting bullied and then handing you like half a million dollars to do it. Well, yeah, you're gonna go to jail for it, man. This has been well, going like, on for yeah, thousands I'm... of years. I've been saving up, and frankly, they've gone too far. This ends Keep... tonight. Oh hell that yeah! That's an ex anything. What do you I do as a rock just... job, actually? That's a... <coughs> what do you do? What, I make pretty good money drug... as, as Santa's lead reindeer. Wait, I thought, if you're Santa's lead reindeer, why don't you get the bitches and you get to go to the parties? It's because he's fucking nose. Just on him when you're flying at fucking light speed. Just to fucking let one rip. Just fucking... I... <laughs> I think that actually might be part of the problem of why they're not let... <laughs> included me. Are you shitting on them? I do. <laughs> oh. You might want to change your diet then. I've been might trying to not eat do more that, fiber. Uh, Try eating exactly. Less. I know what oh. we can do. Let's make Sweet. happy eat reindeer meat. I think that would help you. I think that would help me. Let's go get some. Oh. Sure I, had it. I, had, I had to test that for a second there. Rudolph, and I'm going to do. I'm going to do. Um, give me a second. I need to check I think something. Rudolph is just uh, bloodthirsty. Hey, I'm gonna use um divine sense. There we go, man. Do it. That's what I was hoping. Detect good and evil. Mhm. Mm yeah, is he is he good, evil, like celestial fiend, undead, blah blah. You reach out, feeling deep within the essence of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and find a soul of pure light and goodness. Something has pushed this wonderfully a positive force in the universe towards darkness and revenge. Even the most humble and good person can be pushed to their wit's end. And yeah, as no, that's you... still, that's still, I think this changes alignment to evil. Alignment's weird in D&D. It's not if you're a good person. It's, it's, it's weird. All right, all right. Rudolph, look at me, brother. We have worked for years, toiled at Santa's bitch, for centuries and neons and neons. No, we we have cost... You shush you, I'm, I'm making, I'm making like... <laughs> what has caused you to jump from one to a hundred in five seconds flat? It hasn't been five seconds. I just can't take it anymore. These son of a bitches have it coming and I need help. Let's get them. And as you guys come into the stables, you look around and see the entire place is a sty. There's a bunch of okay. these curdled, balled up reindeer poop all over the place. They don't even pick up after themselves. And you see them in the back corner. Like some of the reindeer have, they're like, uh, they're talking up some female reindeer that they just brought in from Tinder. Others are nice. listening to really loud techno music. But it's like not good techno. It's like really basic house. There track. is no good techno. There is wow. no good techno. Wow! <laughs> if you're just doing drugs, it's it's good enough. Some of the reindeer oh. in the back are doing lines on their huge nose there that seem to do an entire circle. Oh my god! Okay, okay. Oh, I have a question. Are these guys like they're all in the back? You said. Is there a door in the back? There is, and uh, coming through this door, you see uh, Donner and Blitzen coming back around from taking a piss outside. They got a lot of it on the side of the building, and they're kind of dribbling in as they come back in. Donner, okay. dude, that was an amazing pong rep, bro. Hey, give me another molly pill, man. I don't want to feel all the pain and cold we're going to be going through tonight. It's going to be a long one, dude. You got it, my bro. All right, I got an idea. Okay, um... 
um, Rudolph with your nose so bright. Get your fuck around the other side of the do to the other side where the, the that door is at over there, and lock the fuck out of it right now. You got it. Wow. This seems wow. less like a what? fantasy game and more like you're fucking murdering people in a frat. <laughs> Uh, well, we got a, we, we got paid, right? No? Uh, okay, we don't have to do it. We could just figure out why Rudolph is, like, going crazy. But we just need him out of the fucking way for a second. He thinks we have to get Rudolph figured out first. Okay, alright. Um, DM, can I make an animal communication with the, the with one of the reindeers and, like, We're call already him? talking to him. They're oh, talking fuck. reindeer. You don't need to do that. For damn they're, it, is they're there magical any... creatures. Oh, can I get some one of those creatures that aren't magical that aren't in their loop, like maybe an, a, a rat or a mouse? <coughs> Absolutely. You uh, walk out. Okay, there are the reindeer, and then there are these wonderfully, like there is a mouse with only a shirt on and a hat, but no pants. He's Donald Ducking it. Oh God. Go talk uh, to him. Uh, hey man. Hey Good man. Boy. Do you know what's happening up? What's what's what what's up with Rudolph? What's what's what the fuck? Oh, poor Rudolph! I know that guy. Yeah, he's having a rough time. These assholes over here. And uh, as you're talking to him, he's trying to sweep with a little tiny broom some of these giant mountainous turds that are bigger than him into a pile. <laughs> yeah, they keep giving Rudolph a hard time. I really feel bad for him sometimes. And as you are talking to this mouse, one of the reindeer kick through the pile of turds as he's chasing ah. down one of the does that he invited over from Tinder. And as you glance over, you can re you recognize that this doe is probably underage and shouldn't be around all these drugs oh. and, and booze. Uh. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cast calm emotions. <laughs> Hey, yeah, where are you going, go babe? I didn't say you could leave. And as the reindeer tries to move in between the threshold, preventing the underage doe from leaving, you cast Calm Emotion, and he's like, oh, wait, I think I need a nap. I might have had too much. Um, Excuse me, I'm going to go take a nap on this sofa over here, bro. Uh, <laughs> the fuck <laughs> is happening here? <laughs> Hey, uh, you, you little one, what are you doing here? I'm talking to the doe that's not of age yet. Look, I was just offered an opportunity to maybe join Santa's workshop, and I thought this might be a great of course. Uh, uh, career path uh, and really boost my resume, but you know what? I think that I was lured here on for false pretenses, so I just want to go home. And the yeah, door is locked go in the home. back. I don't know when. Okay, I'm going to go. Yeah, just, just get, don't, 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 uh, make sure you get, like, reference or Santa first. Strangers. Yeah, get, do get, not. Yeah, <laughs> don't trust celebrities, you know? Yeah, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I'm just gonna go. Merry Christmas. Uh, yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Oh, man. At this point, right. three of the reindeer come around and encircle you. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I didn't say she could go. She still has stuff she needs to do for us. <laughs> Wait, but what about that oh, doe right there? Excuse and course, us. Well, you know what? I I don't feel so bad about doing what you know the thing now. Honestly. Um. Um. <laughs> hey, guys. You got, you guys want to know about something? You want you? Have you ever want to get so fucking high that you see? Humans talking to themselves as a third person. Bro, now you're talking my language. Go ahead and give me some smoke oh dough. No, no, no. Uh, okay. <coughs> I'm gonna like, pull out. I'm gonna pull get like pull out my hat. I have I have this like like little bag from how, and like I get it from my I get it from my uh my uh uncle Krampus, and he's like. He's just, he's just a really nice guy. I pull out a cookie and I'm like, like this stuff right here, man. This oh, is stuff this a right special here? cookie, dude? Oh, did you infuse this with can of butter? Oh, uh, you uh, multiple different drugs are in this pill, right? This uh, this uh, thing. I've heard this. about these. These are Wonder Shrimp cookies. Oh my god! Nom 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 nom. nom. All the three reindeer just chowed down on them. 
Yeah, and I'm just gonna let them leave. I'm gonna let them. Okay, now you guys are gonna want to like lay down, like all together in a corner, because it's gonna get freaky, and you might get get a little freaky. So just you guys want to be uh, cuddled together as po uh, closely as possible, okay? Hey man, we're not those kind of reindeer. We don't. No, seem this is like not that. that. This is not what that's gonna happen. You're you're gonna see things that you're gonna want your bud, your bud, you know, your bro. You're gonna want your bro with you to experience this. Oh, Comet, your fur is so soft. Oh my, come here, you. <laughs> uh, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go check on the door, make sure it's locked. That Rudolph did the thing. It's locked. All right, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna say, uh, reach out for my friends, like, all right, and I'm gonna toss some more cookies, special cookies on the ground for everybody, and I'm gonna make sure that all the young dolls are like gone. And I was like, this, this is the, this is the shit, guys. Make sure you, you like, you enjoy this stuff. Oh yeah, this is. Oh man, it's so tasty. I've never had my taste buds on uh, fire like this before. Oh my oh, god. god. Okay, I, I need to get. I, I need everybody to get out of this building now. I, I, I point to you guys, my, uh, my team members, to get the fuck out of the building quickly. Wait, whoa, wait. Yeah, I, I grabbed the mouse. By the way, because I have. Ugh. Well, do you want? What do you want to do? I was gonna. No, do, what were you gonna do? I was gonna summon flame of spear, right on top of them. <laughs> Oh no, I think we can be a bit more, um, uh, if they did once, about it than a burning down a freaking barn. Well, it doesn't burn down the barn, does it? Well, maybe it does. <coughs> it's fine. These are horrible people. They're using kids in horrible ways. I think we should just scare the crap out of them. Okay, fine, we'll do that. Oh, some of the spear deaf. They they run away. And, well, actually, they're, they're fucking high right illusion. now. Oh shit! And they're they're eating stuff that is causing them to have a, even more of illusion. Exactly. And as they all squirm on the floor in a big pile, not quite an orgy, but they are like pulling and sucking on each other a little bit. You. <laughs> Blast him with a flaming spear right next to him. Immediately, fear runs through their facial expressions as they all flail about in vain trying to get up. Rudolph bursts through the door and just starts stabbing and tearing, ripping the flesh, wait, biting what? the throats out, wait, killing wait, wait, each wait, one wait. of them in turn. Blood wait, wait, wait. spews wait, all over wait. the walls and wait. trips down in giant puddles, arcing across in giant rivulets of death. Wait, I, oh, I boy. when did I didn't summon the spear yet? You can't just do that. <laughs> no, we were just scaring them and then yeah. Rudolph took advantage. Oh, okay then. Good thank God. <laughs> Woo! I, I got scared for a second there. Uh Rudolph we... still like murdered the crap out of them. Oh that's not us. I'm calling Santa. Fuck this. I met, I use message. And send and send it to Santa. It's like Santa, get over here quickly! Ralph is killing everybody. Uh. Immediately, you hear a reply. Oh, <laughs> Rudolph, that's impossible! And coming around the corner, he was literally in the other room. Walks in, sees the blood and the viscera all over the walls. Ooh, I hide my ooh, gold. Ooh. I throw the gold over. I throw the platinum bags away before he enters the room. Just get out the window. Merry Christmas! Oh God, Mary and Joseph, what happened here? Oh, Rudolph my lost entire... his mind. Rudolph, what happened? I I don't know that they, they were here when I, they were like this when I got here. This is terrible. What could have happened? I, 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 I messaged Santa again. I was like, look at his fucking reindeers. They're covered in flesh and blood. And his feet. He's stamping on them. Nope. Oh, no, this is terrible. With my entire sleigh bell team massacred, how will I be able to deliver the presents this year to all the good little boys and girls and gender-neutral young ones? Oh, you're, you're a great guy, Santa. 
<laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, there was a young doe that just left. We we'll pr probably get a new does to do it. <laughs> I think uh, um, Rudolph needs a, a retirement. Oh, not retirement. Uh, what do you call it? A vacation? He needs some vacation I think days. Rudolph needs an exorcist. Uh, does anybody have? Oh, oh. Well, I can I can summon Hellhounds. I should be able to talk to whatever is inside of him if he has an evil presence. Rudolph! What are you a communist? Rudolph's on duty tonight. No days off. Now let's get out there and get these presents delivered. And as he says that, you hear clawing on the outside of the workshop, skittering across the glass windows. Oh, Santa Claus, come out, come out wherever you are. Shrill voices call out from the driving, whistling snow as little claws scratch at the wood of the workshop. Wait, is we this my know, uncle? We know what it was you who sent the killers of the Pumpkin King, and it's time for you to accept Jack our presence. Wait, oh. Jack's dead? <gasps> Jack's dead? Oh, you killed Jack? I'm sorry that you guys didn't play in last year's um in last year's Christmas one shot, but Santa might have sent a death squad to Halloween Town. You know these things happen. Um. What the fuck, man? Why didn't you invite me? Oh out there. no, that's a no no for me. Oh wait, are, are we switching sides here? What's what's happening here? That's a no no for me. <laughs> Crashing through the windows as they burst, the workshop erupts into flames and shards of glass as Jack O' Lantern Molotov smash through the smash through the, the windows, settling, yes. setting the candy cane facade ablaze, caramelizing the facade. Oh, uh, Santa! Oh, well, fuck we it. We should I'm, get out of here first. I'm gonna go get my uh, get the platinum. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Dexterity saving throw to be avoid being baked like gingerbread men. I'm a uh, how, how uh, uh, a tiefling. I'm not immune to fire. You're not immune. Well, oh, that's sadness. You're just um, what's it called? Resistant. Yes, that one. <laughs> Fine. I'm gonna add resistance to both. I'm gonna use a cantrip of resistance on both uh, fangs and the other guy. Just for saving throws and stuff like that. And then what are we rolling? You said initiative? No. Dexterity saving throw. Oh, that's even worse. We got 18. 18 saves. I got a 17, bruh. 17 saves. Hello. Sorry, I had to deal with something. What's going on? Dex, quick! Dex, dirty saving throw as these Molotov cocktails you also erupt get... through the windows, threatening to set you on fire. You also get a d4 just in case you fuck up. I probably will. Uh, roll a d4 now. Quickly. Fast, before you burn alive! Fame's licking at your feet. Uh, 11. <clears throat> Is he alive? Your shoe catches on fire, but you are able to get outside as the rest of the workshop gets lit up on fire. Oh, nice. Oh, I didn't bring a Santa token out. God damn, it's always something I'm forgetting. I do always and as do you this. guys oh, burst good. through the front door on fire, you see the denizens of Halloween Town surrounding the workshop. Whoa, whoa, denizens, denizens! Remember, I'm a tiefling. I'm from, I'm with, I'm with Krampus. You can't, you can't do this well, to me. That's not the I same. Have to show Christmas. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't like. They don't like care Christmas. about you being from hell. They're from Halloween Town. I know. I'm just trying to <laughs> not die, is all. <laughs> um, we get that. Yeah, yeah. We understand. I completely understand. At least you should I, I, have sent a hit squad for your pumpkin king Jack. But also, y'all need to calm down. Wait, why <laughs> did you send a hit squad to the pumpkin king? 
Well, they were fucking with our zoo. They were fucking with our holiday. We couldn't let these people muscle in on our territory. I think that I'm regretting it now a little bit. And he looks back at the burning workshop going up in smoke. Well, <laughs> uh, I can build this again, but we need to get this fire straight out. But before that, do we have any, is there any other owls other than us? Or are we, we the only ones for you that, that, that exist in this group? What was your question? Is there any Where more are the other elves? <laughs> you see them leaping through the windows, jumping off the roof from the second story to their death. They're really short, so this is like a, a six or a seven story jump to them. Oh, well, <laughs> well, it's still below them. It's fine. They'll be okay. Uh, have you ever jumped into snow from the top of a building? It no. doesn't really work. <laughs> oh, I've seen the videos of the yeah, of I've seen the it person. on YouTube. And they, they, they survived it. Yeah, okay. It's terrifying, <laughs> I know. Alright, um, you... Well, I'm gonna go to the the burning one, the one that's burning on fire. Is he like a tiny guy? He's a tiny little guy, right? He's a little guy. I'm gonna pick him up. I'm gonna sniff him. Is, is he well cooked? Oh, done? What is he? What? You'd say he's on the well done to crispy side, sure. Uh, I'm gonna take a bite. Delicious. Wait, what? Why? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a, I. Because he get I gain his power if I eat him. You're a freaking druid. He's not an animal. He's an elf. He's he's an abomination. <laughs> <laughs> and as crab oh. sauce fills up on delicious elf meat, we're gonna roll initiative, please. Oh my god. To do this. <laughs> oh, wait, do I have to roll the actual thing? Oh, snap, I got 20. No, no, no. How do I roll this? 20. Alright, well, that means you're There we go! Going. Nah, that's better. That's how you do the initiative. You press the initiative. Right, Elisana, you're gonna be going first with a nat 20. What's this? What does it look like in front of? Where's? Uh, we. If you look at the map, we are currently fucked. Uh, okay. What? Not they seem to be surrounding the front half of the building, slowly moving towards you. <laughs> Wait, what's Goofy doing here? He's not part of Halloween Town. That's the Wolf Man. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Goofy, get the fuck out! It's not Disney. Allow that Disney doesn't allow you here. Oh, the Wolfman. Okay. Oh boy. Let me see what I got here. Um. Oh, I can. Um. I suppose the only thing I can really do, I can. I'm gonna cast blindness, deafness on Mr. Wolfman over there. All right, how's that work? Um, let me get to it. <clears throat> um, can blind or deaf in a foe choose one creature that you can see within range to make constitution saving throw? Bales the target is either blind or deaf. For the duration, at the end of each of your turns, the target makes constitution saving throws. I have a feeling a seven does not save. It does not. Wolfman is blind. And deal. Am... Damn. Alright. Do you have a bonus action and... My bonus action? I don't... Oh wait, no. I mean, I can do bardic inspiration for you guys. Hell yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right, I'll go with that. Um, I'm gonna be using uh plant growth, and from this tree to this tree, I'm gonna make a wall, and then have it go t like to cut the path off. 
You see erupting out of the snow a hedge bush maze of trees that blocks off your enemies from you momentarily. How tall is that? Uh, I, 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 mm. All right, will you please find out? Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, uh oh, um, dispel channel via to into plant via this area. There are two possible uses for the spell, granting either immediate or long term benefits. If you cast this spell using the one action, choose a point within range all normal plants in a hundred foot radius centered on the point becomes thick and thorny. Creature moving through the area must sp uh, spend four feet of movement speed every four feet uh, it moves. You can exclude one of them area size to special area for uh, being affected. If the cast is spelled over eight hours, enriching the plant's uh, mile radius center. The harvest year. Ah, uh, this doesn't do any damage. Well, I can't. I keep them from getting in our way. It just right, slows you make them a down. Barrier. I'm gonna count it as difficult terrain. Anything else is a bonus action? You want to move? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go because this the uh, path is right here, right? Like right over here. Yeah, right about there. Uh, so I'm gonna rush to the the weak guy and smack the shit out of him. Oh, I'm gonna send my hellhounds. I'm gonna shoot them at. I'm gonna have them go at the 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 wolf wolf guy. No. Man, right. y'all are just picking on the wolf guy. Fuck the wolf guy. He's not even part of this world. The ones that started attacking. So. Go ahead and roll a d20. Yes, sir. Sixteen. That's gonna hit. Go ahead and roll a D eight. Six. Plus three is nine. Go ahead and roll two D six. Six. Fifteen damage to the Wolfman. Well played, sir. He is gonna get a Wolfman on him. Rudolph, with your nose so bright, fucking blind those motherfuckers from coming towards us. You got it. <laughs> Shoots a laser beam of red at them. Pew, pew, pew. Oh boy. Now it's gonna be the Halloween Town Denizens. Oh no. Who oh, knew? If we work as a team and kill one at a time, we can we can work around this. It's gonna struggle forward to right about there, but there it can't quite make it through the difficult terrain. It stops them. These two are gonna try and flank around. Hey guys, we can all be friends here. We didn't do it. It was Santa Claus. Well, essentially, they're going to spend their entire turn getting into position as they are unable to close the distance over the hedge maze. Yes. All right, Saint, you're up. Wait, wait, I got. I'm, I'm looking at something real quick. <laughs> Hurry it up, man! It's your turn. Oh. Yeah. That's neat. Um, didn't know that. But um, alrighty. So where's difficult terrain? There's difficult terrain oh. here. Okay, I'll show you right here. Here to there to over here. Yeah. Mm. So we 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 you you're currently uh, as long as you don't get into these areas, you're fine. Well, I kind of got to. Oh, well, you're. Well, good luck then. You're going to be All able right, to close I'm, with these two in the front without getting into difficult terrain. But I can get here? Yes, sir. 
Where are they? How far away? That puts you in the melee of the Legion one. I have a pike. Nice. You get double the able point. Ten feet reach. Where, where can I? Where, where can I? Where can I stand where I can get both of them without? Uh, no. Them being able to get me. Do well, you're here. Or I don't know. That's fine. Yeah. yeah nice. Um. He's gonna use his bonus action and cast magic weapon. Yes. There you go. That's just I just get a plus one to my rolls now. Nice. And he's going to attack the vampire. What? Blood. Blood. I'm Cook Dracula. Going to attack the vampire with one. This is terrible. And he's going to attack, attack the other thing with one attack. Oh. Natural one misses. Mm. 22 hits. Nice. And I'm going to smite. I'm going to divine smite this fool. Nice. But wait, uh, you won't want to divine smite me. Wait, uh, blah. He's getting his ass divine smited. Uh, I cover my eyes. Where's divine smite? Where's divine smite? Where is it? Where's the... Once I find its command here, you're in for a world of hurt. If you can't find it, then you'll not be able to use it. Blah. Um, if you can't find it, it, there we go. It doesn't exist. Go. No, it's not it. It's not the right button. Deal 2d8 damage. Okay, bam. Oh. There we go. And that vampire is undead, right? He, let's use the yes. I accidentally clicked it twice, so he gets an extra d8 of damage. Another d8 plus three. All right, I've got the damage. Yeah, ignore, ignore that. Ignore that middle one. I accidentally clicked divine smite twice. Just normal one. I uh, got it. You cut him right in half, and you bring him down to a knee. Oh, that hurt the. Alrighty. Wow. That's the end of his turn. That's going to bring us back to the top of the initiative order, Elisana. Alright. Hey. This. The. <clears throat> Let's see. Um. This tentacle dude here. The head. On his head. <laughs> yep. Dildo head, yes. Um. I'm going to cast. Uh. Fear on him. Oh my. Indeed. That's terrifying. Indeed. So. Yeah. It has that on him. <laughs> Um, it, so, each creature in a 30-foot cone must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or drop whatever it is that it is holding and become frightened for the duration. Minus one to wisdom does an 11 save. Uh, it does not. Dear, he is going to make a U-turn and try and run away. It's a good that is scary! Hey! Hey, wait, he's running away? He's gonna try right. and run away on his turn. Attack of opportunity? Oh. You'll yeah, get an opportunity turn. attack on your turn. Sweet. Is it my turn now? Elizana, any bonus actions? Movement? Let me see. Um. I already yeah no I already cast the bardic inspiration for everybody so nice now bardic inspiration correct me if I'm wrong that gives everyone a d8 at your level 1d8 yep thank you very much alright so the rest of you take a d8 for saving throws and something 
Oh, hey, um, I forgot to mention. Um, mm. Everyone within 10 feet of me who's an ally gets plus five to all saving throws. Wow. Nice. Paladin six level ability or something called um, Aura of Protection for, for uh, Oath of the Crown. Wow. All right. I think you are going to have saving throws later, so I'll try and remind you. Oh, I'm giving I'm giving away the goose here. Okay. And that's going to bring us to Crab Sauce's turn. Nice. <clears throat> I'm going to do... Fuck it. I'm going to do a flaming spear again. I'm going to put a flaming spear in the middle of all of them. Right about... Uh, let me see. Give me a second. Like right here, right there, and put a flaming spear, and it'll hit this guy, this guy, this guy. The guy that's trying to run away, he'll have to run that way, the run towards the flaming spear. Uh, this guy's—I don't know—I think he's safe. Let me check. Let me check the distance. I gotta make sure it's safe for everybody, though. Like for us, the main guys. Sixty. So radius is sixty. Wait, my feet. Yeah, yeah. Here's five feet range. Uh, so it's five feet around. Okay. Uh. So. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna put it right where the stump is at. And anything near it, it's gonna get fucking toast. It's gonna go get toasty up in here. Alright, gonna make some s'mores this Christmas. Alright, they have to uh, uh, do a saving. Oh, let me see. A uh, five foot demonic fear of fire. Uh, it's in range. Creatures that end up in within five feet of the spear must make a dexterity saving throw. Creatures take five. Oh, sorry. 2d6 fire damage on failing saving throw. Half that and than a successful one. As a bonus action, you can move the spear 30 feet around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you move the spear, you direct it with 5 feet of other people's. Alright, yeah. So, these bitches are going to get toasty. So, actually, I'm going to put it right between these two guys. Alright, so you're going to have to choose one of them to be affected by the sphere. Um. Oh, you're right. They're not close enough. Wow. But can't can't say now that puts it in the middle of them? Because it's a spear. I've tried. I've tried this exact same thing with John, funnily enough, and uh, he is like, "No, you got to choose the frame of sphere on one of them." That's not how that works, though. It says if they're next to the five foot spear, doesn't it? Yes. What spell is? It? What spell? It's, it's flame of spear. I'm gonna stay consistent. You gotta put the sphere on top of someone. You can't just put it in the five foot space next to them and have it affect Hold two on. people. Wait a wait a second. Ah, uh, John, so special sometimes. All as right. Far, as far as a rules lawyer goes, he's gonna be more accurate than I am. I, I have a tendency to say yes uh, too much. No, wait, so Wookie, Wookie, Wookie. Yes. Wookie. Yes. yes. A five-foot diameter sphere of fire appears in an unoccupied space. Any creature that ends its turn within five feet of the sphere, which means if they're five feet next to it, they take fire damage. So, no. John was wrong, whoever that is. But uh, you just said yourself. You just said yourself if they end their turn within five feet of the sphere. So it's on their Yes, turn. yes. Yeah, yeah, but like, it's not... It, it, you can't, it can affect both of them as long as it's their turn is there. Yep. No. I'm going to place it right there, right in between them. Terrifying him. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to put it right there, right in the middle of them, to protect my fellow compatriots from demise. <laughs> yeah, 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 demise. Alright, go! Fire! Go! <laughs> 
create the orb of fire next to the baddies, and then uh, it's going to be uh, their turn. All right. Going to go ahead and take a step right there. I'm going to take a step right there. Wait, wait, I thought he's afraid, though. Shit, you're he's right. Ah, run right away. I go ahead and take your opportunity yeah. attack. Yeah, opportunity See? attack. Damn him. 13. Hits. Wow, this guy's wow. weak. 12. 12 damage? Yes, 12 damage. Are you going to smite his ass? Because he's a demon creature. I don't think I can smite on um. A uh, uh. reaction. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Let's say he can make it right about there. He is not going to be able to see. So the wolfman, poor Goofy, is just rolling around in the snow. Gorge, y'all don't know where anyone is. It's Rudolph's turn. Rudolph, you know what to do. Stab him. Stab the motherfucker. Do not. Do don't not encourage him. Stab him. <laughs> He's already... He's already been corrupted. I, I don't know what to say about this, this no, guy. I can help. Run Let me him get him. Through. And then if he dies, yeah. at least at least he would purify his soul. It, it won't. I don't think it counts if he's still <laughs> as it in him. Oh, okay. Does he do his radiance damage with his nose? Merman is going to go ahead and take a ranged attack at you, sir. That did you know, horribly miss. <laughs> it's acid all the way over you into Rudolph's face. Ow, son of a bitch! Uh, oh, oh, my how hounds, right. Uh, they're still attacking Goofy. Go ahead and roll an attack for the hell hounds. Vampire is going to take a swing at you, Saint. That's an eight. Do they, does, does it work? Do they, did they hit? Hellhounds have a plus zero to hit. So an eight does not hit, unfortunately. Sorry. Oh, hellhounds. It's okay, boys. You got this. I believe in you, little ones. What did that vampire roll to attack me? You rolled no, an 18 a... plus four wow. is going to be a 22 to hit you. Oh, and I don't have my shield, so I have 21. It hits. Wow. This is why I wanted high. the shield spell, Wookie. No shield What's spell your for fault? you. That's why you don't tease the DM before the game. It's going to be 13 points they of damage. They are literally everyone else in the world. 13 damage? Roll the 6 and a 5. <sighs> hey, that vampire is going to get his ass kicked. Blah, take a bite out of the crime, kids. I'm like, wait, is he Count Chocolate? No, that's a vampire from the, 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 the Nightmare Before Christmas and all that. I'm Google Fair Coco Puffs. Who's, that's wrong. That's the. Bird from... <laughs> God damn it! He is very confused. <laughs> Frosted Flakes, they're great. It just says cereal on the mind. It's now oh, your man. turn, Saint. My turn. Cereal vampire. It's my turn. Yeah, hit him. Hurry up. Oh, wonderful. Push him into the fire. Where I'm gonna, gonna fire? cast. Ah, uh, let's see. Can I make... I'm gonna cast. Let me see. Can I take a bonus action and move my spear of fire right behind the the the, the big guy? To right the behind big... the vampire. Yeah. So like when he put, when he attacks, he gets sandwiches between the fire and the between your attacks. I'll have allowed you to do that on your turn, and he would have ended his turn in the ball of fire. So go ahead and roll fire damage on him. Yay! Fire damage. 
Let's uh, see. What spell am I gonna use? That is a 2d6. Takes get 10 damage. Ow. Yo, yeah, bro, I can't protect you from my son. Mm. His name's Frank, by the way. My son's name. I'm just, I'm just gonna attack him. You know, I'm not gonna cast no spell. Mm. I'm just going to attack him. No need to be fancy. Classic. 16 hits. 13. Damn. That's gonna do it. How do you want to kill? Nice. Oh. So you know how snakes kill vampires, right? Oh. Through the heart. He's gonna yeah. take his pike and he's just gonna shove it all the way through. Like, uh. coming out the other side, grab it and just pull it completely through the vampire. Oh shit, I, what I see then is like the heart going at the back side of it, and it's getting cooked by the sun. So like a skewer. Yeah. It's, so, oh. it's so bright! Oh, blah! That's gonna do it for the vampire. It's dying. Jack! I love you! Stop this endless violence! Jack is dead! Don't say that. I know. <laughs> we'll warn him later. Uh, my turn then. Yes. Uh, alrighty. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna attack also with my rapier. Uh, I fell to my knees and yelled, Jack! Jack, who's who's the little demon devil looking guy? Oh, this guy right here. I, I don't know his name. He's a little devil guy. Yeah. That's Frank. Yeah. <laughs> Frank the devil. Yep. That was about right. Alrighty. Yeah, you are within uh, range. All right. But that's me. She's uh, the the sexy druid. Sexy. No, I'm the druid. The sexy druid. Yeah, She's yeah, there you go. She's an elf looking person. He's a genasi. Genasi. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Alright. Going for him. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Ham? We don't have a ham here. Um. What am I doing? My brain. Attacking. Thought yes. you were stabbing him with a rapier. Yes, I am, but I. Do my spite? <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. Roll. Seventeen. Nice. Seventeen hits. Nice. Okay. Damage. One d eight plus four. Oh, don't uh, make make sure. You, you, do you have a Twelve. bonus moving speed? Twelve. No. I've got it. You don't have a bonus moving speed. No. You're stuck there. Then you're gonna be cooked alive by the fire. What? I'm not by the fire. We'll yes, see. The are. orb is just out of range, about ten feet away. All right. That's that's good. Then it's ooh, it's over here. Then All friendly right. fire. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, any bonus action? Don't think so. Yeah, no, I don't. I've already done the party inspiration. I don't think I can double it, so. <laughs> Understood. Crab sauce. All right, I'm gonna move the spear, be like right over here where this guy's at and this guy's at. But away from her, so she doesn't get attacked. Understood. Moving the sphere between the Harlequin demon and the devil. Yep. Then I'm gonna yeah, have but... the, I'm gonna have the uh, the howl hounds keep on getting at Goofy's nose. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a <laughs> d20 and attack with the hellhound. 
Does a nine plus zero work? Negative. That misses. Damn it, guys! I, I want to give you steak as a reward. Please earn the steak. They're trying. They're gonna rip up the werewolf man, but it seems like there's a family of bond. They're reluctant to hurt the other wolf. They're hellhounds, wolves, they're cousins. Now, you do have an attack, Dell. I was moving the orb. The orb. It's a bonus action, and the attack of the hellhounds is not your action. Yeah, um, um... Okay, sure, sure, sure. I'm gonna move my character here, and I'm gonna smack the shit out of the guy with the club. How about still, sir? Does a three hit? Goes wide. Damn it, man! <laughs> Stay still. All right, and as you try and reach out and smash the devil, he's just too slippery. That rascally devil, him. Now, does anyone <laughs> know? <laughs> does anyone know offhand the rules through moving character through moving through character spaces? Uh, you just um, go through each you, other. Nope, you can't. You can't unless you're a halfling. Yeah, that's uh, right. I knew there was something about that. it specifically states that you have a nimble um, stature, like halfling does, you cannot move through another character's space without making a contested strength check. And the one who fails, I think, is shoved prone. All right, this devil, how rude, is going to try and bowl through you guys and make it towards Saint. I'm gonna need strength checks from each of you. Yay! Oh, strength boy. checks. This is my strength. Oh, okay. I don't really have strength on this thing, to be honest. Ooh. <laughs> I got eight. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I got twenty-one. Wow! Yeah, he tries to muscle through you. You push him down onto his ass in the snow. On the fire, right. by the way. He's, he's, he's pushed towards the flame now. It's prone in the fire. Mmm, roasty and toasty. Roasty, toasty. I, I don't think devils feel fire, though, so... They aren't immune. They're just... Alright, uh, DM, I need to go real quick, so... Auto, just redo what I just did last turn, okay? Alright, hurry up. What? <laughs> Make sure you give, a, like, a really good pun, like, at the... Uh, uh, the people's expense. No pun. Goofy is no longer blinded as he rolled a nat 20. He uh, blind, hey. unblinds himself. Flinks. Pink, pink. Gonna make an attack on you. The acid goes wide again, unfortunately. And that is gonna be the end of the baddie's turn. That's gonna bring us over to Saint. Wonderful. Mm. So he's gonna go on down to this fish person here, and there, ten foot away, ten foot away from this fish person here, and then he's gonna me. absolutely ruin their day from ten mm -hmm. feet away. He'll make some fish kebabs. All right. Yum. Fish sticks. I love fish sticks. <laughs> 21 will hit. The 10 will miss. 10 will miss? What can I use Bardic Inspiration on again? I believe you can make it on attacks and saving throws. Let me let me just pull it up. It's 1d8. Um, hey, hold on. Let me see. Uh, oh, where is it? I dig it. Um... Bardic Inspiration. A uh, creature within 60 feet. And here you gains an inspiration die for 10 minutes. The creature can add it to one ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Awesome. The 16 hit, Wookie. 16 lit. Oh no, not the merman, he's getting lit up. Merman. 
God damn it. Yeah, Man, damn uh, it. What happened? Do what? it. Um, that's the end of Saint's turn. Thank you. I think we all just had a collective brain fart all at the same time. That oh, was fun. Oh, yeah, no. I was wondering, like, whose turn is it? Is it uh, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> All right, I've got the 16, the 12, the 12. All right. That poor guy is down. That's going to bring us back to the top of the initiative order. Saint, uh, thank you for your turn. Elisana, you're up. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to just go for another stabby stab with my rapier. You're going to poke with the burger. Yep. Um, 15. 15 hits. Nice. And seven. Seven more damage onto the devil. I've got the damage. That seven. <laughs> seven. Understood. All right. And then uh, any movement? You gonna try and back out of there? Or are you okay? Um, I'm, I'm good now, right here, for now. He is on his ass, so I don't think he's going to get an opportunity attack. Yeah. Understood. Crump Sauce is going to go ahead and take his turn. I'm going to roll the Hellhound's hit. I'll go ahead and roll up the damage on the Wolfman. Heh, <laughs> one. Hmm. Oh no, I am that terrible. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Wolfman. It's gonna be... Oh shit. 18 plus the 2d6 for the fire damage. Wow, okay, well, now I'm rolling high. Initially, the wolves bite into the wolfman, and you don't think it does a lot of damage until lava breath comes out and melts poor Goofy. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. And then I'm going to take or, a... Or Gosh, I never saw this coming, Sora. <laughs> oh, God. That's going to hit. That's actually going to do damage to the devil at a reduced rate. Oh, wait, that's not the end of his turn. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to say that's going to be a shillelagh attack. It's going to be a D8. I love this baby. Mm -hmm. Three, that's two. It's going to bring it to an even. That number. Goofy's starting to look rough. Now it's going to be Halloween Tennyson's turn. Devil's going to stand back up. Circle around you. And still staying within melee. He's going to get out of melee with Crump Sauce. That's going to give him an opportunity attack. 13 will hit. D 
Devil's starting to look really, really rough. He is going to take a attack on you, Elisana, and he will oh. miss. Ah, he got scared. <laughs> Not sure how devils sound. I've always imagined them as the fucking devil from um, Futurama, the devil robot. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I was well, picturing that's, that's, him from Powerpuff Girls. I think that was the voice that Wookie <laughs> just did. Yeah, no kidding. Yep. <laughs> right. Goofy is going to take a smack at the Hellhounds. Hellhounds have 45 health. Christ. Wookie, I think you under I think you underestimated us for this fight. I did not, trust me. <laughs> no. Never underestimate underestimate what the DM has under their up their sleeves. It's impossible uh, to underestimate what. Wow. <laughs> That's correct. Not only do I have arms <laughs> under my <laughs> sleeves, there are other things. Look, Wookie, Wookie, I don't, I don't think you understood what I said. I heard you. Don't overestimate Wookie. I, we'll, we'll see what it's happens. It's impossible Let's just to underestimate Wookie. It's that, impossible. That doesn't hurt my feelings at all. And we're going to see Jack what happens when my feelings get hurt. Yep. I don't know. You'd probably cry if you got your feelings hurt. I don't know what. Would... Uh... Oh, they got the damage on the Hellhounds. And these two are going to make their ranged uh, spitting attacks. Miss. That's going to hit. So, I believe that will be 1d8 plus 2 poison damage to you, Saint. <laughs> oh, what kind, what kind of damage? Poison damage. Four oh, total. How much, how much damage? Four. Four? No, it's two. Ooh. <laughs> Warforged are resistant. Oh, that's nice. They're good. All right. Two damage of poison. I was going to say, don't worry about it because I got you, but never mind. <laughs> seems all right. The poison sizzles off his armor and it seems resistant. And you can't, you can't poison machine very well. I'm sure, like, the poison would have some effect on, like, inner mechanisms, but I don't think poisoning a machine would work too well. You're making some good points. That's some science right there. That's going to be end of the Halloween Town Denizens. Back to you, Saint. It's stabby time. It's stabbing time. I assume it's ten misses. Ten misses. Ooh. I'm assuming a 28 hits. Oh yeah, that 20, you double up them dice. Fifteen damage. Ow. Yeah, you're gonna gut this merman right through the flesh and turn him a little bit, rise him up off the ground. <laughs> Um, He's already having a hard time breathing. Right. It's real cold uphill. His gills are freezing shut. And um, that's it. That's all his turn. All his... Wait, no. Saint's gonna move towards um. Uh, he's gonna move. He's coming back up here. Ten feet away from the devil. That's ten feet. Yep, that's ten feet yeah. right there, and that's where he's gonna stand, right there. Understood. All right, Elizana, back to you. Uh, I'm going to. 
No, I, because I. What is that? Hold on, let me see. Okay. I'm just gonna go for a stay up again. Um, my right bear. So. Oh boy, that's not good at all. I was an eight. Eight misses. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, yeah. That's. <laughs> so I can't do anything else. Well, I could move away. And let me try and move away a little bit. All right, where you head to? Um, just like um behind the, the devil a little bit. Get on flank, and I like it. Yeah, that's it. Understood. Crump sauce, you back? Yeah. Take yes, that as sir. no. We'll go ahead and give him a advantage for flanking. 17 will hit. And then the hellhounds are going to continue to numb on down on the wolf man. Those mess. That'll be it for his turn over to the Halloween town folk. That is a miss, unfortunately. Ranged attack from the Harlequin demon onto. Uh, I think the only person really in range is going to be Crump's house. That'll hit. Nice. Oh boy. 10 sweet damage when he comes back. It's okay. It's fine, it's fine. Saint? Does, uh, well, I'm not even going to bother. 12 doesn't hit you, does it? It does not. Or didn't think it would. Elisana, he's going to go ahead and take a swipe at you. It was a 16 hit. Well, just. Just hits, all right. This is going to be 2d6 plus 2. It's going to be six damage. Oh, okay. Six piercing damage as it gives you a little nibble. One's going to do it for the Halloween time, Denison Saint. It's stabbing time. Do I get advantage for flanking? Yes. One. Twenty six hit. Twenty four and twenty six hit. What those are those are without advantage. I, I rolled two of them because I don't know how to do advantage with the commands I'm using. Nope, that's fine. Twenty six hits. Ten. That's enough to kill him. Nice. Oh. Is is this this devil man here still alive? Or not the devil man? This. 
this thing? Ah, the Harlequin Demon. He is still up, although he looks rough. Goofy dead? Yeah, Goofy's dead, right? Goofy is getting chopped on. Wolfman is getting nibbled on. He looks rough, too. <laughs> These three in the back are all still up. I thought I, thought I killed the fish man. Merman looks like he's still up. I thought I, I thought you killed him. Oh yeah, I, I described him being shish kebabbed really gruesomely, but no, no, he's still alive. What the fuck? Oh, well. Yeah, that's the old fake out. Mm. He is fish. <laughs> fish kebabbed. Let me see. Hmm. I can get to all of them. You must choose one. Yes, I must choose. Let's just go here. Let's let's just take them out slowly. Work our way left or right. Um. Twenty-one hits, fifteen damage. That's enough to kill the merman. Wonderful. And I only used fifteen foot of movement to get from. Yeah, you're 20 foot, so I can use 10. I'm going to move the last of my movement over here. God, just going to each one of these people, knocking them down like bone pens, lag it. Ah, wait. He's in ah. range. He's in range. Alrighty, that's the end of my turn. <laughs> knocking out two in one go. Back up to Elisana. Oh, already. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, I am going to go for the well. This goofy is not doing good. I'm gonna go and give him a nice poke with my rapier. And that is... Hold on. Where is it? I got... Uh, 15. 15 hits. And... Um... 5. You got the damage. She looks really, really rough. Uh, <clears throat> oh, what was the wrong token? Go, Shilasana, please. Wait, don't kill me. <laughs> Crump sauce is going to come oh. up and miss. Hellhounds are also going to miss. Yeah, this is just a frenzy of fur and leaves, and they're all just swinging wildly over here. Harlequin Demon is not moving. It's going to take that damage right there. He'll go ahead and attack back. And it'll miss. Harlequin Demon is going to spit some acid at you, Saint. 14, uh, I'm assuming a 14 does not hit. It does not. An 18 doesn't hit either. All right. Now I'm a tank. I'm a tank. I'm a tanky tank. That's going to be the end of their turn. Back to you, Saint. <laughs> wow. Man. 20 damage. 
That's going to kill him. The Harlequin demon is down. Yikes. 30 and then 10 foot away. He's in range. If I move my maximum movement speed, he's yeah. still in range. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Aww, that was... You're a lucky Wookiee. If I'd gotten like three crits... <laughs> Wolfman was on his last legs. You see him staggering back and forth, blood dripping out, making the snow red, and he falls forward directly onto your pike, skewering himself. Go, 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 no! <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. You guys shouldn't have attacked us. And as you get your quip in, scolding them for not being smart enough to not attack you, you hear. <laughs> well, uh, well, well. What do we have here? I'm guessing it's Oogie. Well, honestly, it's a very good impression if it is. Yes. <laughs> it's very good. I must commend you. You're getting clap as well. <laughs> <laughs> I get a slow clap. Uh, rising up out of the snow, you see the white bug sack coming into view. I should have known you all come in here trying to raise and defend Santa, but there's a new boss of Halloween Town now. And if you all look down on the ground, You'll see the old boss of Halloween Town coming back for a reunion right quick. And as you do glance oh. down at the ground, you see the former denizens of the Halloween Town dead in the form of a pentagram, blood strewn on the ground, rising up, smoking steam from the melted snow. That's why you had them stand like that. They were all in a freaking second. circle. God dang it. <laughs> Grasping, reaching up towards the heavens of the wind blind snow, emerges the Pumpkin King. Oh, no. What did you do to him? <laughs> and that's where we're gonna take a five minute break. Man, this seems like the perfect time to unveil my my Sorry. magic item. Uh you missed it. I know. Uh family came over. It, it we just uh, killed all of them and um just um Oogie okay, just summoned uh resummoned a very uh very beautiful Christmas tree? Jack Skellington, apparently. The Pumpkin King. Yeah. I thought he was dead! Um, we just it, brought him back. I guess uh, he might be undead? I don't know. Jack! Um, Jack! I'm your biggest fan! I came from hell just to see you! Oh, I don't think he cares, because he looks kind of, uh... Guys, you're missing the point. I haven't shown y'all my other magic item yet, because I've got my magic armor. But I haven't shown y'all you know, my magic item. I got a magic bong. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, oh, what's that about a magic bong? <laughs> Everyone come in for some cookies and oh god, what is that? And that's where we're going to take a five minute break. Oh, thank god. I need to find me a magic bong in D&D. &D. What? Hell yeah, there is one. Maybe. What, well, like the decanter of infinite CBD? Uh, oh, that explains so much. Why is there such a big creature in front of us? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what um, part of the, the weed, chemicals and such gets people high. I think it's CBD. It might be THC. I'm not sure. Uh, it's, CBD, I don't do the it, it's THC that gets you high. Well, okay, good. I don't know. I don't know. I don't do the weed. 
Neither do I, I just know. I've never even seen a weed before. <laughs> I don't know if I believe that. No, I haven't Most actually. People. Oh, I have. I've never it's seen delicious. What? You'll like it. No worries, it's all good. You come to uh, um, uh, come to um, California. They can buy it anywhere. Did you just say it's delicious. What if you cook with it properly? My friend taught me a recipe where it's for uh, br uh, uh, pop brownies. I, I haven't got to make it yet, but I had it's delicious. I'll be right back. Wait, what's wrong? Oh no, I scared her. I don't feel comfortable going to California. Oh, uh, why? Because it's pot brownies. No, no, because apparently shoplifting is legal if it's under nine hundred and fifty dollars or something. Uh, it's not legal. It's just there's no point. Like it's not. Bothering. There is a point. It's called it's not <laughs> called it forcing. I don't. Well, it's because okay. The problem, the, pro the problem is that with. When you do security and like you can't touch the thief, you 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 don't have the power. You don't you literally don't have power to arrest people. You can say, hey, don't do that, but you can't stop them from doing it because then you're getting in trouble where you touch them and it comes it considered assault. And you're you 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 do have the power to arrest as a security guard, but when you can't touch them, that's the problem here. That is by far the dumbest shit I've heard. Yep. Don't get me wrong. That's why I stopped being security guard. I think that, I, is I, I, dumbest, that is quite honestly the fucking dumbest thing I've ever heard. It, don't get me wrong. Every security guard thinks it's fucking stupid. But we can't do anything about it. Is it that way in every state or just a few? Because I don't think Every that's state. Right. Every I state. Minus right. Texas maybe because they have like a whole thing. Yeah. Not shooting people and stuff. I don't know, it's pretty straightforward. Self-defense and all that. I do think you can restrain somebody if they are robbing you, though. I um, think that falls into... Yeah, but they, it's, it has, it, it's very it's a very slippery slope. Because, like, um, there's some rich guy that, like, shot off his shotgun by acting in California once. And the cops, uh, like, told him that he's gonna, he might be placed under arrest because of that. And he was just stopping people from stealing his car. Um, no, that's not... not you don't... Um, yeah, like I said, man. Fuck? That's, I don't... Full, that's full under castle defense laws. If y'all, I don't think y'all have those though. No. No. That's fucking stupid, though. Fucking um, I do remember that I saw this one fucking thing where Seth Rogen was like telling this guy to get over getting his car broken into. Because it's just an experience and a part of life, and you have to accept it. And I went, that's fucking stupid. Uh, are you in Texas, sir? Yes. That makes sense, then. Don't. I just. I just think. I just think theft is wrong. No, it is. Don't get me wrong here. It's just that it's 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 dangerous now to do that. And if the other person has a gun and you have a gun and you shoot the person down, you're liable to go to jail for it. If they're attempting to rob from you, you're protected under castle defense laws in every state that has castle defense laws. A dangerous slope. I, I, like I said, it's it's bullshit stuff that you don't even want to get into. Yeah. I mean, no, I mean, like in real life, you don't want to get, get. I don't mind yelling about it because I had to, like, learn yeah. this, and then I'm like, I, what do I do when there's somebody doing something? Because you know what's funny is, is like if you're a security guard and you're on duty, you're required. By law, to stop getting and stop it. But How do you stop it if you can't touch them. Exactly. Fucking boomerang. Fucking bolo their ass. No, no, you can't. I hit never them. touched them. I, I never touched them. Yep. I was just throwing my jump rope, and they got in the way. Complete accident. Fucking last through them. <laughs> yep. Go fucking full western. Just fucking. Way. <laughs> Bringing it back into the session, Santa is going to make his way up to the horror of the Halloween town. How about you, you demon fiend? Wait, Santa! That's Jack! And back to the hell you came from, Jack! Ho, ho, ho!
And I stab him in the back, so he... he... Oh, Santa gets a natural one. <laughs> oh, shit! Santa, you're awesome! Oh, Can Santa's I have... a little Santa... rusty! Ooh, ooh. Santa's have... a level 20 cleric. R really? Fucking, um... They've said, like, he'd be a cleric, yeah. But, um, like, he's been alive so long, he definitely would be somewhere near level 20, if not beyond. Well, then re-roll that fucking one. Damn, man. Luckily, Santa's got two attacks. He using a short sword. Santa's got a oh. big old mace. Oh, God. I got the wood staff of... Oh, wait, no. Jesus Christ. Well, that's going to do it for Santa's turn. Back up to Elizana. Still having back from break. We'll come back to her turn. Crump, uh, Crump Sauce, you're up. Yes, uh, Crump Sauce is here. He's going to take out his magic weapon. And he's going to pull out... Uh, a skimitar of speed. Uh, you gain plus two bonus attack and, uh, and bonus roll made with the magic weapon. In addition, you can make it attack with its bonus action on each of your turn. Proficiency with skimmer allows you to add proficiency bonus to attack rolls for any attack you make with it. Uh, where's the damage? Oh. So I get... Ah, there we go, power. Plus four. Plus two, so... Okay, what's the, what does the skimmer usually do, DM? Skimitar. Skimitar? Skimitar, yeah. Scimitar. Yeah, what does that usually do? The sword, you it stab does, things with it. It does 1d6 damage. So 1d6 plus 2. Plus a bonus roll. Alright, sweet. Data! Ah. Coming to save you, you loser! What's that, man? Uh, we st Santa got not one. Oh. On his roll. Or Santa. And I got a net 3. And I got a bonus, <laughs> right? I got a bon- I get- What is this? What, how does this work? Good. Hmm. Yes. Attack, yeah, swing, get a strong weapon, and you can make a boost to attack. Oh, so I didn't hit, so it doesn't matter. I get nothing! Dogs! Hellhounds! Attack the vines! Oh, wait, he's attack with the hellhounds. Hell yeah. Hellhounds, go. Boil. Uh, five. Negative. Wait, oh, you know what? He's made of plants, right? Is this Jack made of plants, or is this... The Pumpkin King? Then uh, can I do grow, uh, um, plant you growth on him? It's your freaking turn. Yes, ma'am! Sorry, yeah, end the turn. Bye. <laughs> Elizana, your turn. Uh... Okay, I, well, I'm just, nothing else I can do, but I'm gonna try and stab him with my rapier, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Oh no, that's two. Freaking. <sighs> Unfortunately, a two will not hit. Yeah. Very sorry. With that, it will be the Pumpkin King's turn. Oh boy. I'm gonna go ahead and turn to you. Oh. I can't use anything as a bonus action, right? Depends if you've got a bonus action spell. Ah, that's how that works. Okay, thank you. Welcome. 
Going to hit you with a slam attack. Does a 26 hit. Against Who, me? you, Saint. Yes. Wow. <laughs> oh, wait, I rolled a D1. Uh, D1. <laughs> damn, man. Damn, max damage. Max damage, critical hit. Uh, 15 damage to you, sir, for the first hit. 15. 24 on the second hit. I'm down. 24? Where's the 24 at? That, you see your compatriots no, say. Don't worry, I got you. Go down. No! Wait, am I down or is he down? I'm down. Oh no, man. I have a little bad elf. They have life essence in them. Eat! Eat! Can't yet. Wait. <laughs> what? Hey. Hey, they're not the pointy ear elves. They're the tiny little elves that make toys. They're two different species. It's still... Anyways. <laughs> <Turn>. <laughs> Santa, go, you Santa ball, balls. So to make his way right about there. What the fuck is Rudolph doing? Damn it! Santa's gonna reach out. Ho ho ho! Them bitches gotta know. And <laughs> he is gonna pump forty-eight into you. Who? What? Who's you? I can't see shit. Saints, he's gonna reach out, pick you up on your feet, dust off your shoulders. You're back up. What? How much heal? How much healing does he do? do? Twenty-one plus two, twenty-three. Twenty-three healing. Hey, I was gonna help you, but okay. Thanks. He still help. needs it. He looks <laughs> like Doug should help this man. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! That, they didn't, the dogs didn't mean to do that. Oh, did the dogs kill my uh, kill um, the Wolfman? They helped, yeah, but uh, uh, everyone was finished off pretty much by Saint. Oh, uh, okay. Everyone. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, well. What about Ooga Boogie? Who, what's he doing up? What is he up to? You see him over there. He's eating bugs. He's being a bitch. Boogie. What? Why would he help? He's the one that did it. Oh, oh, I see. I, I'm gonna go over there and smack the shit out of him then. Right, that's gonna bring us to the top, Elisana. Go, girl, uh, get them. No, um, what is your health at? So you... My, mine is at twenty-eight, I believe. 23. You need any extra healing or no? I mean, like, I could always use extra healing. My max. I'm still under. Wait a minute. I'm, Damn. I'm still under. I just realized something. This yes. guy's been the fire spear for how many turns? Oh, I think I deleted this fire spear. Um, he, he just got summoned. I'll say one turn. I'll go ahead and roll up 2d6 yeah, on turn. him. Nice. All right. Well, I'm gonna um, cast enhance ability. Oh, nice. Um, hang on. What? Hey, do you have anything uh, that'll boost damage? You should cast that on me. Yeah, about to that's do what. A shit ton of damage. I was gonna um, do bold strength so that you could get um, advantage on strength. That doesn't give it. I don't think it gives it to attack rolls. No, okay. no, Santa! You're oh, stuck. I could give you Bear's Endurance, which you get 2d6 uh, temporary hit points. Nice. There you go. Two D six temporary HP. Yep. I'll roll that. 
Six. Six temp HP. Kill man, you're our only hope, pal, and be our fairy. All right. Fairy. You just gotta wait. Hope I survive. Yep. I believe in you. Oh wait, he's in difficult terrain. Oh, he's not even moving, so that's the wrong point. Never mind. For a second there, I was gonna say he's in difficult terrain, but he's not moving. Oh, Santa! Right, cool. It's my turn? No, First not yet. I... Oh, yes, oh, it okay. is, actually. I'm sorry. Crump Sauce, it, it is your turn. All right, so wait. I'm going to run down to Oogie Boogie and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to send my Hellhounds at the Oogie Boogie, too. I'm going to let them attack first, and then I'm going to attack Nick. Roll it up. Does a nine hit the bitch? No. Yeah. All right, it's my turn. Does a nat 20 hit the bitch? Oh, yeah. So we take full damage of the sh uh, the Shimari... Simar Scimitar. Scimitar, sorry. <laughs> it's a plus two weapon. Um... It's a 1d6, you said? 1d6, plus 2. Plus uh, the bonus. Is, uh, you get a, a, a bonus. Uh, you get you know, to your damage roll. Was so you're going to roll 2d6 because you, you did a nat 20. So roll 2d6 and add 2 to it. I. Plus two, so that's uh, 13 damage. 13 damage, damage, damage. Got it. And I'm going for his, um, his, uh, his stitches. Oh, not my bugs. Not my bugs. Man, it's going to be the Pumpkin King's turn. He is going to look at Santa. And you're going to see a momentary flicker of recognition this was the man that sent the kill team. Ain't gonna hit Santa. Yeah, Santa, meat shield. <laughs> Just four. Oh, he sucks. Fourteen on to Santa. Fourteen? Nineteen on the Santa. Ooh. Uh, jolly old man, I'm in your fucking ring. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> oh no, too soon. <laughs> Call upon the horde of hell. Oh wait. Oops. Oh, ho, ho. Uh oh. Oops. Hey, at least you still got Mrs. Claus. Oh, oh no, right. she's, no uh... don't jinx it. <laughs> she, she, she did. <laughs> She she she's not here anymore. You guys look no, over and see. No, she's on vacation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's on vacation in Jamaica. And with a very strong black man. You <laughs> see, oh wandering in from the forest, Mrs. Claus and a very tall and handsome and well hung black man sauntering up, whistling Named merrily. Named Barbados Slim. <laughs> Damn, threesome. Barbados Slim. <laughs> nice. Barbados Slim, what are you uh. doing here? <laughs> okay, whose turn is it? Turn. Uh, it's it's turn. Santa's turn. He's going to make his attacks. Oh, it's Santa's turn. Wait, but... Oh, I'm sorry. It's, Absolutely. Yeah, it's... Saint, you're back up. It is your turn. Nice. Shove it where it, okay. the, the pee don't show. What? I was trying to say shove it up his pee hole. But I don't think he has a pee hole. <laughs> um... Saint is going to drop his pike on the ground and he's going to grab the cloth that's on his right arm and pull it off and it's going to reveal a completely crystal arm Hot. that's oh, going to start to morph into a sword. Hot. Yes. His left arm, he throws it down and it morphs into a shield. What? I thought you said no shields. 
Well, I didn't have a shield, but now I have a shield. Ching! Sparkle, sparkle. All paladins have shields. Somewhere. Somehow. <laughs> Some way. But he's yes, gonna sir. take himself an attack on these guys. On this guy. On these guys Thanks. over here. <laughs> Hitting a hit. Oh, uh, advantage. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna hit. Yeah. Let's roll that second attack with the advantage. Oh, That'll oh, it do. No Are you doing but, um, slashing I'm, damage? I'm doing um, flashy magical slashing damage and radiant damage. Well. Does vulnerable mean they double the damage? Yes. So he is resistant to fire damage. However, he is vulnerable to slashing damage, as this is a pumpkin, and you're essentially lawn mowing him. Ah, wonderful. By the way, I'm also divine smiting him. Ow! Let me let me let me check to see how many times like if I can divine smite on every hit, or if it's just once per turn. Let me check. So 26 double. Hey, yeah, we get 52. two magic weapons, right? Get two magic items, yeah. Rare class, yes. It's plus nine. Let me, let me check. Quick, go. Get one. Double to 34. Ow. 86 damage before the Divine Smite. Um, okay. Okay, 2d8, radiant, plus 1d8, so that's going to be 3d8 radiant if I cast it second level. I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to cast it. Does it just say... Hmm, interesting, so I can divine smite on every hit, apparently, I think. Yeah! I believe you can, as long as you hit them, you can divine smite them. As long as you got the spell slots. Yeah. So 86 plus 13, 99 plus 9, 108 on one turn. Yo, what's up, Bowser? Bowser. Don't fuck with the paladin. Don't fuck with the police. Wait, no, that's wrong. That's exactly why I was afraid of the paladin and the police. Uh, to be more afraid, because I haven't even casted any spells that affect people. I've only been smiting. Oh, no! <laughs> it hurts. Um, okay. I still have a bonus action, I believe. No, you don't. No, you're done. Right? I do. You're done? I, I got a bonus action. Okay. 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 Let me see. I didn't mm. say gay. I don't use gay as a pejorative as a anymore. Bonus action. <laughs> yes, good, anymore. Good. Uh, mm. <laughs> All right. I can't use either of those. Nice. Um. But. Okie dokie. Well, that's it. That's my. That's the end of my turn. The burning hatred inside Jack's eyes flickers for a oh, moment wait, wait, as you stop, rip wait, into stop him. Stop one oh, second. Yeah. Hold on one second. <laughs> Hold on. I everything. forgot something. Wait. Watch. Watch. I'm out. going to expend. That was. So Dude, how much radiant damage did I do to him? A lot. Rookie, what's the number? Read the number back to me. Let's see, it says 2 plus 3, 5 radiant damage, plus the 22, 27 uh, radiant damage. 27 radiant damage? Alrighty, I'm going to expend um, one charge and regain that amount of radiant damage. Or that, that account, amount of healing. What? I stole it from him, yes. 
Oh, that's some fucking bullshit. It was this man Max and crap right here. All right, you gained 27 that's just, that's healing. Just, that's just the weapon. Whew. Oh, I see. You got that crystal sword. Okay. Yeah, as and, you... And adding some divine smite. Yes. That flicker as his life force drains out of him. You pump the radiant energy into him and then like a loop... It cycles through his body and then back into your soul, rejuvenating you. Take the twenty seven healing like, just, back. You just you just start hearing engines, magically fueled engines in his body, just start whirring back to life. <laughs> he's powered off radiant energy, motherfucker. <laughs> My god, he's Hot. totally green. Anyway, that's the end of his turn. That was a Hot. sexy turn. God damn. Santa looks over. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He is going to go ahead and take a schmickety schmack. Two swings with his big old Santa mace. First one misses. He's essentially got a big candy cane he's smacking the shit out of this guy with. <laughs> Man, I have this book of magic items and uh, I Adobe's. I something already. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. That's an evil laugh right there if I were hurt. Speaking of evil laughs, Elisana, you're up. All right, I've got a magic item Ooh. that I want to use. Is bag a bag of, a bag of beans? The magic beans. It's it dump the it's, if you dump the bag contents of on the ground, explode in a ten foot radius extending from the bean. Creature in the area must take DC. Uh, 15 dex, uh, sex, serity, sa saving throw, taking 5d4 fire damage on a failed save, or half as much on a successful one. Are you sure it's fire? It says fire. Oh, weird. As I, uh, yep. Since when do beans do fire damage? I don't know. So Ask weird. the beans, not me. I just found it. Just buy the beans. <laughs> He is gonna fail. He has a plus zero to his dexterity, and he rolled a thirteen. Yes. I'm gonna need the rest of you to roll dexterity saving throws. Remember, you all have a plus five. <laughs> yeah, right. you need plus a d4. Dexterity. Yep. And a d4. Uh oh, and the bardic. Uh oh, spaghettios. Oh. I got 18. Alright, Dark God and Saint. Looks like you might be taking a little... Oh, wait, actually, Dark God, you make it with your plus 5. You get a 16. However, Saint, and, it's a and little And I get hot. a d4, too. I also get a, four, a plus 4. Ha! I get 4! <laughs> Everybody is gets this, plus is 4. Isn't Bardic forget. Inspiration still going? Yeah, Bardic yeah, Inspiration oh. is still active. And you also got your resistance. Don't forget that. I put a resistance on everybody. Well, I got 18, so... We're good. Uh, yeah, overkill it. Overkill it. Go ahead and roll hey. some fiery bean damage for the Jacko uh, Lantern. Alrighty, wait. Let me see. Uh, what was it? Five, four. Uh, uh, that is fourteen. Fourteen damage. You see the fire lick around, Jack. <laughs> The Pumpkin King's horribly mutilated form, and it doesn't do quite as much damage as you'd hope. This jack-o'-lantern seems to be resistant to fiery damage. Dang. However, he does look rough as hell. His vines are oh. are frayed and they're drooping. A lot of the different parts in the actual pumpkin are jagged and cut out, not just the eyes and mouth. He 
You're looking rough as hell. Okay. Now, hell? All right. was dropping the bean sack a bonus action? What kind of action was that? Uh, it was, uh, it was, I'm not sure. <laughs> was it a free um, action? Reaction. Let's call it a free, I, I, let's call it a bonus action. You can take a swing at the take a swipe if you'd like. All right, I'm gonna go over my rapier again then. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen just misses. Ah, uh, dang. Good turn, right. nonetheless. Did some damage. Crump sauce. Uh, I'm gonna have my dog attack first. Rolled up. This is two hits. These dogs are not. They're just tired now, I guess. It's cold. This is out of their element. That's true, they are hellhounds and they're in something super cold. <clears throat> Alright, um. There's some steak and still haven't given it to them. How dare. I ate the. I, I said after the battle. <laughs> Alright, here you go. <laughs> Seem so happy now. Uh, 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 okay, I'm just gonna hit with the rapier again. I uh, know what? Fuck it. Give me a sec. Your scimitar? My scimitar, yeah. I got it at five! To double check, you're hitting uh, Jack, right? You're not hitting Nogi Boogie? No, yeah, Oogie Boogie. This guy. My bad. All right, you swing wide, Oogie Boogie. You can I do take my bugs. He's mad. For, I'm gonna hit him with my as a bon, as a second attack. I'm gonna hit him with my my uh, my my uh, staff. At least try. How many attacks do you have a turn? Uh, I, no, probably one. But I want to take him, please. Uh, I'll give you a <laughs> second attack. It's Christmas. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't matter. You get not. Yeah. You wasted it. I don't say that to me. It's hurtful enough, man. At the I gave end, you, you the present and you wasted it. I wasted it. You're right. It's just laughed at me, too, man. Look at that smile. I can hear the joys in the DM's voice when he says, ha. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> close to the end, Jack, the Pumpkin King, who's in resurrected form, looks towards each of you, hate burning in his flickering flame eyes. And he is going to lash out in his last moments of life, trying to take Santa with him to hell. What? Wait, what? No. Ugh. Natural 20. Oh, oh yeah. my god. Can I jump in the way? Because I'm from hell. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh. Uh, no, what? Let him do it. Santa's the one that killed him in the first place. Oh, okay. Then you're right. But we're killing Rudolph. Come on. <laughs> Can we at least kill Ooga Booga? Oogie Boogie. Ooga Boogie. Ooga smooga, ooga ooga. It's whatever his name is. It's beating me up. I can't I stop to... this feeling. Ooga chuck. Ooga chuck. Ooga chuck. Ooga. Ah. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> a feeling. Do, 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 oh, almost doubled that. Oh, it's just twelve. <laughs> Lashing out, tearing into Santa, you see the red begin to trickle through the red suit. But he still stands, steely determination in Santa's eyes. 
This ain't gonna be how it ends. Those kids are gonna get their presents. Can I kick? Can I do a bonus action to kick Santa before he tries something? No. <laughs> no. Okay. You've already used your bonus action. <laughs> yeah, right. You I used did. It. I used it. I just didn't want him to win. You might have another <laughs> turn here, Alisana. You're up. Alrighty, let's see. Um. Oh well. Oh, I'm sorry. I totally I was... skipped. Uh, I skipped Saint's turn. My mistake. Oh, uh, my yes. turn. Go for it. Wonderful. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okie dokie. Beat the shit out of him. Oh. Wow, okay. Never mind. 20 hits. Oh. Yeah. Oh, boy. Does Uga. Oh, damn it. There's a uh, Jack, I meant. Is Jack holding on to Santa right now? Jack is rending Santa, trying to take him down into the snow, which is pooling with not only his own blood, a viscous pumpkin -y goo, but also the blood of the denizens of Halloween Town. And as he does so, you slash out and cut away the tentacles, grasping and holding onto Santa. With the double damage, that's going to be enough to end Jack the Pumpkin King. Oh, man. Oh, not again. Why would you? How could you? Again? Wow, damn. I'm just <laughs> fucking getting the ki I got the killing blow on fucking everything. Man. Wait a goddamn second. Hit him! Why? I have, a, I have a, a, a mega potion of healing. Can I use it on Jack? No. <laughs> Run and ride. <laughs> it works like that. He's, he's, he's dead now. That doesn't work no more. Jack, we need you. He's just going back to hell. Jack. What is that? Hey, what? He already wasn't from hell though. He was well, dead. He was, he was in hell. That's where that's where the dead people that go. No, they, they don't. All, they all go to Avernus. <laughs> I'll go to the first lair. The Crossroad. Uh, anyways. I know what we can do. We use Ookie Boogie's uh, uh, um, uh, blood, and we... He doesn't have blood, he's bugs. We use his bug Anyway, blood. so Jack, Jack's dead. What's Ookie Boogie doing? Uh, I'm trying to kill him right now. I'm trying to get that, that string. Don't worry. I can help. Uh, you helped <laughs> enough. I've helped. I haven't helped enough. No, I have not. And I use, I put on the crown of right. the beholder. Wait, wait, is it still your turn? I think it is still my turn, yeah. Give me just one second. Gotta. Hmm. Um. How much half does uh, Santa have left? Santa's fine, he's got more than half. Oh, wow, well, alright, never mind. Oh, damn. Um. You fat fuck. If, if he's gonna he's gonna make wow. his way over. He's on his way to help you. Thanks uh, there, he's helping you. He's helping now. You have a bonus action now? Um, Are you, are you getting a Crispin nothing Miracle? Useful. Nothing useful. Crispin Miracle. Um Um, give me just one sec, let me let me see. Um Nothing useful. Just attack him. I can't. Yeah. I used both my attacks. Oh, okay. Um, can you get in me in between us so you can be able to shield at least? Oh, okay. Gonna move in between. Oh. And he's gonna cast Shield of Faith upon himself. Oh, nice. Making his AC, Wookie. Making uh, it 25. Woo! And as you square up, casting your Shield of Faith, you see Oogie Boogie what? whoosh no, no, and catch. drape out his body and inflate himself. These bugs burst out and start to bzzz and I... hum as he inflates himself like a hot air balloon and starts rising up into the sky. 
turning uh, back to address you all, he says, Well, well I get a, don't wait. Well. No, wait, I get a, wait. I get an attack of opportunity. I'll give you an attack of opportunity, but he is oh. just gaining altitude so fast. He's wait, rising have... like a rocket up into the sky. Come and on, the last DM, thing, let me say something. The last I'm thing. the crown of. You put on a crown of a holder. Yes, and I command the bugs to get this asses back down there. Two or three bugs bzz, come on back down. Know, the I, rest of them rise up. I can't swarm either, though. I get to if it's a swarm, which is this it is. It's in his body. Uh, they're they're part of him though. Uh, Grub yeah. sauce, let this happen. <laughs> Relaxes. Okay. As he disappears up into the moonlit sky. Disappearing into the cloud lair, you hear calling down, echoing across the quiet snow. Well done, you've all proven yourselves. I will see how you do next year. Uh, how far away is he? How far away is he? He's gone. No, no, how far away is he? He's not gone yet. I can still see him. How far away? He's gone. How far away is he?
get the shield of 